Hello and welcome back to Wipe Knowledge. So in this video I am going to show you how to set up Linkers application in desktop and mobile. So as you can see I have six extensions here and I am going to change the password for Linkers mobile application. So I am clicking on add it and it takes some some time. So we have to wait. So now I am changing user password. So this password is required for Linkus application and I am setting it. So I am setting it 2025 and clicking on save now the password is changed and we have to click on linkers and on linkers client setting we have to enable linkers for user so select all and enable yes now linkus is enable all the for all the users and i'm applying now we have to download a uh, linkus desktop client application so i'm going on the yester website yester.com so now on the yester website we have to download linkus desktop application and on the product page we need to click on download and here we have two options linkers desktop client and linker slide so linkers desktop client is for p series pbx and linker slide is for s series pbx so we are using s series pbx so we have to download this linker slide application so as i have already downloaded so i'm canceling it and running the application so i'm running linker slide application in system now here i'm in the username field i'm entering the extension number used in the username and password which we have created earlier Now click on custom settings and enter the Yester PBX IP address. So the Yester PBX IP address is 192.168.29.10. We change it to same IP address and the port remain to 8.1. Now click on save and so this way we can log in via the IP address or otherwise we can log in with the domain. So we are we can log in with the domain or serial number of the device, but we are logging with the IP address. So I am just selecting this and click on login. So we have privacy policy agreement over here click OK and save it so now our extension is logged in and we can edit our uh, extension name mobile we can set the mobile we can set the email address for this extension we can set the presence we can set audio mic and speaker for calling in the advanced option we can set auto answer call waiting dial out immediately option and we can set it for auto startup and when min minimize display in the taskbar and we can change the login password and we can set hot keys for Dial selected number, answer, blind transfer, attendant transfer, hold and resume the call, 
hang up the call and notify when hotkey is conflict now in the other option we have we can see the extension status here so 100 is available and other extensions are not available here and in the second option we have chat so we can chat oh sorry it is the call history so we can dial number here and we can see the call history here we can see the call recording and in the last option we have settings CRM integration help about and logout option settings we have already seen here so I'm quickly logging the same on mobile application So now I'm uh, on the mobile phone and in the Play Store. Now I'm searching for link is yes star mobile app. So yes star link is mobile app. I'm going to install it. and opening now in the username field i am going to enter 101 extension and the password click on custom setting enable and enter the local ip address of pbx which is 192 one six eight two nine dot one zero. Now click on OK and login. Now uh, agree on the privacy policy. Allow by using the app. So we have to give the permission to this application. So now we have login in the mobile application as well and we can see the status so as you can see here in the desktop application 101 is available and i can make the call from here to the 101 extension on mobile and now the call is connected Similarly, we can make the call from mobile application to desktop application. So you can see here the call is coming from 101 and the call is connected. So we can put the call on hold, we can dial ETMF or we can add participants here or we can transfer the call by attendant mode or by blind transfer or we can enable the recording. Or we can mute the call so same way we can have directory integration conference and we can see the call logs here voicemail recording and we can create conference from the mobile application